What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com alongside IFBB Pro. Corey Matthews. Yes! We've got real pros up in here this week. All right, so this is something, man, we were talking about Instagram. Like, this is uh, Instagram is something we had to learn. Like, oh. we're older. Like, like I, I like to say distinguished. Like, you know, yeah. like, we're not old, we're distinguished. Uh, <laughs> we're better. <laughs> yeah. We're smoother. We have better game. I think I have a good game. I'll, I'll try it. I should have. But you wouldn't be who you are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, so um, basically Instagram, like I'll look on it and it's like hashtag, you know, no days off, hashtag gym every day, hashtag no excuses. Ha and it's like, it's all this like over living the lifestyle. And the thing is like, you look at the best of the best, like Ronnie, you know, literally would take three months off after the Olympia. I believe it was three months, right? Yeah, three months. Like, um, and, and Ronnie had a full-time job as Mr. Olympia six times. Mm -hmm. Six six years in a row, he was a full-time cop, mm -hmm. which is a 10-hour-a-day job. 10 hours a day, not including paperwork, mm -hmm. okay? Um, you obviously, you put your hustle down as a pro, and you see these kids, like, I say kids very liberally, like 17 to 21, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and sometimes they just, older. Yeah, sometimes people get into it later or they just haven't grown up. Yeah. And they just dive, they do a full cannonball straight up into the lifestyle. And it just takes over the life. And I've had emails from people like, oh, you know, I won't go out with people because it'll ruin my gains and this and that and that. And it's like, slow down, slow down. Now, I want to come from my perspective, who's someone who's, you know, kind of done a little bit with my physique. And then IFBB Pro, who's done a lot with his physique, is, you know, Corey, when you see stuff like that, like what initially comes to your mind and, and will that lead? And the topic of this is really how to avoid burnout and will this lead to burnout? And that's the thing is that this is a marathon, not a sprint. And it's the accumulation of games over years and years and years. Like you're 40, right? Mm -hmm. I'm 35. I have 20 years of 21 years of training under my belt. You have probably seven, 27 years. Yeah. He's got me beat by like, I can't do math, but nonetheless, what do you see when you see that man as, as an older gentleman, a distinguished, distinguished gentleman, we're going to use the word distinguished from now on. What do you, what is that? What do you see? Like, what is that? Well, you know, I, I see, I see young zeal, you know, um, you know, and, and that's fine. You know, I, I just sit back and I figure, well, they'll learn sooner or later. And the thing about it is, you know, when I see these guys, that their whole life is consumed with, I got to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. I got to go. That's their whole life. Um, the danger in that is burnout and the reason why is because you know I mean you're here for so much more than just that mm -hmm. and I'd say the way to avoid that is balance the best bodybuilders in the world they're great because they have balance mm -hmm. um, you know I, I'd say it like this here if you have a job or you just you know there's got to be something else in life that you like you know me Personally, you know, if I can speak for myself, you know, I'm, I'm not always in the gym. You know, I, I do. It only takes about an hour and a half a day. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about that. You know, like, it only takes an hour and a half a day to go to the gym. So, so, you know, that's an hour and a half. Okay, two hours a day. You know, um, that that's that's fine. I don't know. Some guys, I think Arnold said he's in there for like four or five, six hours a day or whatever. Yeah, he was still smaller than all the guys. Yeah, it's like, I mean, you know, what can you possibly be doing? You know, if you work out, you go, you go in the gym, you go hard at it, you, you, you do what you're supposed to do, you know, an hour and a half, then you got the rest of the day. I'm be real, man. I, I'm in good shape. Like, I run, I do cardio every day, I do Tabata every day, but dude, like, after that hour and 20 minute arm session, I'm, just, I'm done. You know, I'm done until the mom's spent. Yeah. My refractory period is well not yeah. recovered. It's like then anything after that, you're really counterproductive. Yep. And so for me, I have other things that I like to do. After the gym, you know, I'm a family man. I spend lots of time with my children. Mm -hmm. I spend lots of time with my family. Um, I, I, I'm spending a lot of time in church, you know, with my family. Um, and, and another thing that I guess a lot of people may or may not know, um, I, I like reptiles. Uh, yeah, I've seen his reptiles. And crazy. so, you know, I spend a lot of time doing things with my animals. Um, you know, so, you know, and, and then if I want to go to a movie with my lady, with my wife, you know, uh, that's fine too. 
but you know, my life is not consistent of me just going to the gym. I mean, how boring is that? And that's a pro. This is a pro, guys. <laughs> that's what I'm saying is that like you're not, chances are, and I'm not trying to kill anyone's dreams, chances are whether NABA, IFBB, IFPA, whatever organization there is, the chances are you're probably never going to win a pro card. And you're probably never going to look like Phil Heath. <laughs> I th I'd say those are, the, the, the second one's definitely true. Right. They might win a pro card, but even after the pro card, you'll probably never win a pro show. Okay, so you're spending all this time, and what I look at in everything in life, and it, it, it's from a charity standpoint, like when I do charity, it's like, what's the ROI to the person I'm helping mm -hmm. on that time spent? You know, how am I going to, so what is your ROI on being in the gym? that long on living the life on team no days off like oh you know my sister died today but i went to the gym anyway because i was team no days off that's stupid mm -hmm. like one day is not going to kill your gains and also bodybuilding should enhance and not overtake your life mm -hmm. and i just see too many people get involved and i've never seen those people last the people who last are the ones who can use bodybuilding as a part of their life and mm -hmm. not as their whole life well, that's, that's what it should be. It, it, it should be a, a step um, to, to better a, a person's self, you know. Um, it, it could just be a dream. Some people have dreams just to get a pro card, just to yeah. turn pro. Some people have dreams to be Mr. Olympia or Mrs. Olympia. Some people have dreams to be, I mean, whatever the case your dream is, um, it, it's, it's, it's perfectly normal and okay to pursue it with everything you got. Yes. The problem is, is if you pursue something with blinders on and there's nothing else to life, mm -hmm. then your pursuit is going to be very short lived, mm -hmm. you know, because I mean, like, like I said, you know, the reality is it's like, what else are you going to do during the day? You mean to tell me you're going to go to the gym for however many hours and, 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 and then you, you, you go home and you spend the rest of your day eating, cooking, sleeping, cooking, <laughs> cooking, prepping your meals. For Gotta prep your meals, bro. And um, your six pack bags, you know, I mean, you know, there's so much more to life. There's, you know, and, and, and I'm not saying that your dreams aren't, shouldn't be a part of your life. They should be, but don't limit yourself or don't box yourself in mm. to just go, you know, well, going to the gym. I, we were talking, we, we've had some great conversations today about a lot of things. I mean, you know, we're, we're both very deep thinkers. Um, you know, and, and it's, it's one of those things where, where bodybuilding is, is something that I think that you need to kind of use it as what it's worth. And that's to set short and long-term goals mm -hmm. and to hit them, to meet them, and then set new ones. And I think a lot of people just, just go completely in and they lose focus on what it is. And there's something else you said when you referred to bodybuilding as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And you're a professional bodybuilder and it's something you used to benefit mm -hmm. yourself, to help others. And that's what's great is that it's giving you a platform and, and I just, for those of you who don't know this, man, like I didn't know all this. Like I'm a guy who, if you guys follow me on social media, I'm always doing something charitable as little or as big, whether it's going and helping high school students or whether it's giving money to Semper Fi fund as little or as big as it may be, or whether it's sponsoring my buddy Doko, who's, um, he's a refugee from Liberia and he ended up playing pro soccer and we paid for him to go to Liberia and help them rebuild after their floods this year. And those are something, but this is a man who puts my charitable actions to shame. And I hate to say that, I hate to say it like that, but he does so much good work. And I think if you were to use your fitness as a way to get you there, to propel you to become a better person, and that's something that fitness can do because if you learn a trade, if you build a body, you can influence and help people because just you being that size, people are gonna listen to you. Yeah. Like it's amazing the platform fitness has given both you and me to help people. And that's something I, like, you think the high school football team would care that I'm helping them if I wasn't, had no name right, in the right. fitness industry? No, I mean, so it's given us opportunity to change lives. And whatever you do, just know that you can use that as a platform to better people. The thing, the thing about bodybuilding is um, you, you have to have a balance. Mm -hmm. There is a part of it where I have to be selfish. Yeah, of course. But then, um, that can't be the only part of it. Um, you, you know, you, you, there has to be, you, you have to, at the end of the day, ask yourself, have I made a difference or have I put a stamp mm -hmm. in this, on, on, in this life? Yeah. You know, have I helped or, or have benefited anyone? 
has, has you know, and, and so if everything I've done in life is just about me, then I've helped no one because at the end of the day, even as much as I've done for myself, if it doesn't, if it's not for anyone else, then it doesn't even matter. It's like it didn't even exist, you know, because once you're gone, it's over. Yeah, so beyond that, I think that the point of this is don't make bodybuilding your life. Help it help your life and use it as a way to, you know, better yourself in so many other ways. Man, I appreciate you coming out here. Um, again, Ronnie Coleman Signatures, it's linked down below. Um, again, support their company. They're good people. You guys know Derek. You've seen us run around in American flag tights, <laughs> making complete fools of ourselves. Um, obviously, Ronnie, my man over here, I'm going to link it down below. Yeah, buddies, they're pre-workout. It's awesome. Amino Tone, America flavor, also awesome. And that's not a game.